Okay, so after your last observation, just like some um, Nate's notes from it, was just like great job utilizing your catchy, um, your catchy saying to um, gain the kids' attention. So focus, focus, it's time to focus. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. It seemed ex like it was effective, and the kids seemed really, really excited to do it. So that's good. Um, and I actually haven't seen them like get ready to work or just like start to pay attention as quickly as they did um as they did with you this past time so today we are going to start working on um we're going to work on preparation with you and so some of what um so um i want you to watch a lesson i'm going to show you and as you watch the lesson i want you to think about how the teacher begins the lesson how she's setting up the scala for success and and what's the impact of her teaching okay okay so the first video is this, and we're, so we're just gonna watch the intro, the beginning of the lesson, okay? Um, and why you do this? Never mind.
was in Oh, Mario. Yeah, that's Mr. Kip. So, um, as you watch the video, how does Miss Kaner begin the lesson? Um, going over some tricky words that Mario might uh, not know and have difficulty signing out. Um, and how, um, how is she setting him up for success? Just by telling him, like, you know these words, we can sign out together, and working with him and making sure that he has all the proper setup to read the book. Okay, and when you think about, when also when you watch the um, video, what else does she does after she introduces the words that Mario might struggle with, what does she also introduce? the title of the book and then what the book's about right so she does a, a book introduction yeah. um and then she also ends our book introduction with what um what should be the title again so she, she actually ends her book introduction with um a question and a strategy oh okay so if you watch her video, there's like several strategies that she's reinforcing for him that he's previously worked on. Mm -hmm. So she, you hear her, you see her chunking words with him. You see her do the bossy E with him. Um, she also gave him a question to think about when um, he reads the book so he knows what he's looking for comprehension wise. Mm -hmm. And the strategy that she was working on for that day was um, eagle eye. Okay. for Mario so she names very specific strategies um, and so what do you think the impact of um, stating the expectations um, for him um, at the beginning of the lesson what do you think the impact on all the things that she did for him in the beginning of his lesson what do you think the impact is on his learning it's kind of setting him up for success and also getting him probably a little more comfortable with reading and by giving him also like some strategies, like I noticed with Keelan, like going over the strategies, like it's, it's really helped him sound out words. And so it's just setting him up for better success throughout the book. So I'm gonna let you watch a video of your guided reading lesson with like, I just came in on a random day of what guided read, reading for you looks like. So we can speed up a little bit. And so like I started the video right after you guys rotated. So this was just like three minutes into I got a reading for those two. Mm -hmm.
So I think you know you're just out there. It's kind of the same. So like the partner comes back mm-hmm. and gets his finder and um, you start working with him. And so just like, how did you begin your lesson at the guided reading table? Um, I mean that wasn't a typical day because I was going to see that group later. Um, but I mean normally.